Hello friends, you are most welcome at the Biology Patshala and I am Oja sir welcoming you all with the topic genetics. Here into the genetics we are starting with chapter number 5 that is heredity and variation of your textbooks standard 12. Now in this chapter we are going to learn the basic terms about genetics and Mendelian genetics specifically. Now if I talk about genetics it is a study of genes but with respect to forwarding the characters from one generation to the other. So into the genetics we are about to learn about the genes, its behavior, how it is forwarding the character from one generation to the other. So two basic terminology which are given into the heading is heredity and variation. Now before understanding the heredity and variation let us revise a few basic characters of the cells with its correlation to the genes. So we are starting with the correlation of the cell functions, cell structure and its relation with gene. Now how it is getting correlated? Let us understand with the example. So we are starting the relation between the cell and genes. Friends, we know cell is a living organism. If I talk about a unicellular organism. So cell is basically a smallest most living organism which is possibly unicellular or if I talk about multicellular organism uh, including us humans we all are having even though it is a cell or we ourselves are having a tendency of sustenance of ourself our main motto main goal first goal is survival in any given situation we want our survival we want to live not to die and that is a key factor of evolution of life onto the earth basically life is uh, converted from non-living organi uh, non-living components to the living organism with prokaryotic life so that was the first phase of life, prokaryotic life, then comes eukaryotic cells, eukaryotic life and then eukaryotes have evolved into the multicellularity. Fine, so if I talk about a unit cell which is a living organism itself, its main goal is to remain alive which is stated here, right? So if I talk about a cell as a living organism its main goal is to remain alive now to remain alive it has to perform several activities so the main function with respect to remain alive cell its main function is protein synthesis that we are supposed to remember now how it is possible right so let us go further into the discussion Look, if I talk about cell, it is having physiological functions to remain alive. So, if I talk about, if I actually define the physiological functions, so functions which are performed by a living organism with respect to remain alive or with respect to sustenance, the all functions are physiological functions like getting nutrition, respiration, excretion, control and coordination, movement and locomotion etc. We know several functions, right? So the physiological functions with, with respect to remain alive any of the living organism is performing. Now if I talk about physiological functions, friends, physiological functions are only possible by metabolism that also we know in standard 11 chapter 9, right? we have studied the entire mechanism of the metabolism and role of the enzyme in the metabolism. So 
enzymes are responsible for the metabolism which are in turn responsible for the physiological function so if cell has to remain alive it has to go for physiological function that is metabolism by the enzymes right so enzymes are chemically protein that's what we know so they requires protein in that case right fine cell division is the other mean of remaining alive is metabolism and sustainum sustenance of the life by producing the next generation is the cell division in that manner right so if cell has to end the life cycle it will remain its own with its next generation so it divides into two for example if i talk about myself <coughs> i try to remain alive but i always wish to have my kids my next generation before i die so that's the same ideology cell is having so cell divides before it is ending its life cycle so cell division if i talk about for cell division it requires the synthesis of new organic compounds including main or chief component which is a protein so in this case it requires protein in this case also the basically structural component is protein so new cell is synthesized only when main chief component protein is synthesized so in both these condition it requires protein and that is why cells main function is protein synthesis and the protein synthesis the process is controlled by the genes that is what a relationship between cell and gene cellular process cellular requirement is based or it is controlled by the genes that's what we are about to understand fine if i talk about characters characters are what we are how we are what we are doing how we are doing and what we are having that's what the characters we have as we have earlier said as well we have two types of characters one is structural character and second is functional character for example if i talk about myself i have several body parts i have several organs organ systems which are my structural characters right so if i talk about this cell cell is having various components that is living organelles right from where the cell is made up of so various components various living organelles are making the structure of cell now if i talk about function if i talk about my function i am doing various physiological functions with my each and every organ system similarly all the organelles of the cells are responsible for performing various type of physiological functions of the cell so functions of the component of the cells are functional character of the cell and various component of the cell which are present inside the cell are the structural component structural characters of the cells so both requires protein what we have understood just before right if structure has to be made organelles has to be designed requires protein and if function has to be performed it requires metabolism so that it requires the enzyme and that's why protein synthesis is required so protein is a required thing now if i talk about this cell cell structure and cell function is designated for protein synthesis as cell function is adapted for the protein synthesis right entire cell function is adaptation of the protein synthesis and the design of the cell what we know the design of the cell is right at the periphery cells is having a cell membrane or maybe a cell wall in center it is having a nucleus and outside of the nucleus and inside the plasma membrane 
self have the uh, the uh, the liquid content which is a uh, uh, filled with living organism right so protoplasm and cytoplasm cytoplasm includes living organelles so many living organelles so that's why we say it as a protoplasm so protoplasm actually is a site of the protein synthesis so entire design is according to the process or according to the adaptation of the protein synthetic processes so easily cell can make the protein that's why we know that uh, the unit which is called gene is protected inside the nucleus and the uh, unit which is synthesizing protein ribosomes they are found mostly on the uh, onto the endoplasmic reticulum which is adjoining to the nucleus right so why because easily they can correlate their job their work that's why so entire design is adapted to the process of the protein synthesis right fine so if i talk about the change the change of the character right needs to change into the protein then and then only characters can be uh, uh, can be changed and if the change of the protein is uh, is required we requires we need a change into the gene right so if i talk about forwarding characters we have two processes which are heading of the chapter and number 1 heredity and number 2 variation now if i talk about heredity if a character of living organism is forwarded from one generation to the other without any change it is called heredity and if any of the character is forwarded from one generation to the other with some change then it is said to be the variation so that is how we understood the two main basic terms heredity and variation now if i talk about uh, the starting point of the genetics genetics are uh, 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 come, uh, so many aspect which are covered by the genetics fine so term genetic is the first time given by w batson which is known as father of the modern genetics right and if i talk about uh, genetics definition it is a collective study of heredity and the variation that is forwarding character it is a process of forwarding the character from one generation to the other where either they are forwarded without change that is heredity or it is forwarded with some changes that is variations now heredity is a transmission of genetic characters from parents to the offspring variation individual of the same species have some differences which are called the variation as i said earlier it is a change which is done right so if i talk about the historical background of the research of the genetics first cytogenesis is the word is the term which is proposed by muller and it is known as the cytological genetics right second role is played by the morgan morgan is known to be father of the experimental genetics right he ex, uh, sorry experiments uh, his experiment is on the drosophila and he proposed various concepts and the next is gerot a father of human genetics and biochemical genetics metabolic genetic disorder which is called as alkaptonuria which is also known as black urine disease is proposed by the gerot right 